Hey guys, Model Me Horses here. I'm going to go ahead and show you my Christmas updates. Hope you guys all had a nice holiday. Um, I know I'm still on break for the rest of this week, so I'm very happy about that. Um, as you guys can see, this is our Christmas tree with, you know, lots of little ornaments and such. And then down here is our Christmas special conga line with Jewel, Silent Night, Seasons Greetings, and the Nutcracker Prince. Yes, we did receive Holiday Bell, but I'm not really sure if I want to take her out of her packaging yet. So, that's that. We have a freshly primed stable mate here who I, um, he has got these weird markings because I can't really leave him outside right now because it's really cold and he won't dry very quickly. So he has markings from falling over and stuff while he dries under a lamp. So that's that. And then I have a newly etched custom stable mate. Um, he's usually all black Frisian, but I made him like a Welsh cow cross kind of thing. And, um, so, sorry, trying to get my camera to focus on him. This is his little blaze snip thing. And then, his custom etched butt. So he's kind of like an Appaloosa kind of thing, but he's really, really cute. So, okay, I'm going to show him very soon. Alright, then we have two new briars. One is a Peter Stone, and one is a custom weather girl. So we'll start with the Peter Stone. So this is a Peter Stone Pony, and his name is spelled L-E-Y-T-E. -E. Pretty sure it's Leite or something like that. Um, but um, his new show name here at Ravensworth Farm is It's Not Me, It's You. Or, sorry, it's it's me, not... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, um, his show name is... It's not you, it's me. Um, and then his bar name is, um, Streaker. Streaker, yeah. Okay, so he's got gorgeous shading and dabbling in him. Being my first Peter Stone, I am in love with him. And he's got the most adorable face, and he's got an adorable mane, nicely painted and braided. He's absolutely gorgeous. And I thought he came, I thought he needed stands because he has this weird peg thing going on. But actually, I thought that, like, they didn't send me the stands. But I figured out the other day as I sat him up that if you just set him down like that, he stands up on those pegs. And it looks like he's flying. So it's pretty cool. I like him a lot. So he's really, really nice. Then I have my custom weather girl. She is gorgeous, and I am in total love with her. She has a completely resculpted neck and neck and mane, and um, you know the her. She's got gloss eyes, and um, she has like a really nicely defined face, and her tail has been moved. She's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And her name is Sorry I'm Late, and her bar name is Skeeter. I am in absolute awe of her, and I am so happy to have her now. And I'm sorry my camera keeps going in and out of focus. <laughs> so that's the update of Ravensworth Farm. Um, I'm going to be working on this custom very soon. He has an obviously resculpted mane by me. So that's him. But um, I actually recently found a Secession in La Fire online for $175. And I have $246 of Christmas money that I received. So I've been trying to talk myself into buying them. Because those are probably the two Briar models that I've wanted for my entire life. So, And I actually recently just found a picture the other day from when I was very fairly young of a briar sitting on the floor at Christmas and I don't know who it came from I don't still have it 
but I was very, very surprised to know that I have been collecting briars since a very, very little age. So, yeah. But, um, I'm also looking to purchase an Arabian halter for her. Probably, like, a red. I'm thinking, like, red and then gold beads or something like that. But if you can make a, if anyone can make a video of how to make Arabian halters, that would be greatly appreciated. That way I do not need to go out and buy one. Then, um, I'm gonna need some gross grain. I'm gonna make him a halter. Uh, so, I'm really happy that I got all the things that I got for Christmas. So you can see, got my Uggs over there. Then, um, yeah, but I'm very, very excited to start the new year. Hopefully get Secession in the Fire. And then another one, another model that I found on this website. I'm not going to list it because I don't have the rights to, but, um, it's in the Nakota mold, and it's like a buckskin grulo, grulo kind of look, but it has a feather coming out of its mane right here, and then a feather attached to its tail. And it's a Midwest States only special run from like 2003. Actually, no, I think it's from 2011, but it looks amazing, and I either have to pick that or Secession in the Fire. And I showed my dad Secession in the Fire this morning, and he was like, no way. So I'm thinking I'm just going to ask for that for my birthday, which is January 13th, so it is coming up, and um, I'm also going to ask to go to Briarfest for my birthday. So maybe I'll get Secession of the Fire and then Briarfest tickets for 2012. So hopefully I can meet some of you guys at Briarfest if I do end up going, so please leave a comment and um, rate this video below. Thanks, bye, happy holidays.